I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who says in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 13, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. Salt, sodium chloride, is a very important part of life. Firstly, salt keeps food from going off. Fish, meat, butter, biltong. And this was particularly true of the days before fridges and freezers. There are two thoughts here. As parents, we need to keep the gospel, the good news in Christ, pure and wholesome to hand on to our children and perhaps even to our grandchildren too. And then as Christians, the salt of the earth, God uses us to purify society Yes, in sport. Isn't it wonderful to see good sportsmanship in whatever sport we see or participate in at school or varsity? And also at work, in politics, business, the media, and in every aspect of life. Secondly, salt makes food tasty, the spice of life. Christianity is not a killjoy. Rather, it is exciting, meaningful, interesting. It is an adventure full of wonder, waiting to see what God has in store for us. Jesus came to give us life in all its fullness. See how often he uses the word rejoice. Thirdly, Salt makes us thirsty. As the salt of the earth, we should make people thirsty for God's way. His truth and his life as portrayed in Jesus. We should never be a stumbling block, but rather we should attract people to Christ, that they may too experience the joy of living God's perfect plan for each one of us. Fourthly, salt needs to be spread out evenly over our food. It's terrible to find a lump of salt in one's food. So too, Jesus wants us to spread out into the world Sure, we can come together for instruction, for healing, for forgiveness and spiritual strength. But there is nothing worse than Christians building a wall around themselves, staying in a holy huddle, a lump. Jesus wants us to go out and witness in the world, to word, in deed and just in what we are. One of my favourite expressions is the church exists for those outside it, not for those inside. Those inside who have been healed, forgiven and given spiritual strength have a responsibility to those outside to hear the good news. All in all, salt makes a difference. We as Christians need to make a difference everywhere, at home, at school, at work, in the community, in our country, indeed, in the world. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you want us to be the salt of the earth. Show us, help us, empower us through the Holy Spirit to be your agents, your ambassadors, wherever we are and wherever we go. That like salt, 
we may make a difference in the lives of those around us. In so doing, may we become more like you in what we profess, in what we do, and especially in what we are. This we ask for your love's sake. Go now and be the salt of the earth, bringing peace, hope and love to all those whose lives we touch. Blessed to be a blessing. Amen. <music>